message. Look around you. Look at the people who are here, not just from Coward County, from St. Mary's County, from Prince George's County, from Charles County. This is just the beginning of something very, very big. We are no longer going to stand for politics as usual. It's just not going to work. It's not going to work. Now, I know there are some in the crowd, and maybe even in the media that read this Monday morning, that dare to think that this is only about one particular race or gender or another. But I'm going to set the record straight. And I feel very comfortable saying this. This is about all Americans. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what gender you are. This is your money. And you have the right to stand up for how it's being spent. Now, I'm not going to compare myself to this great man because, believe me, in my mind, he was an outstanding American. But I need to remind us of something. Before the Boston Tea Party, about, I don't know, eight years before, they tried these Townsend Acts and these Stamp Acts. England was trying everything they could to take more and more or any of our money, which we would not allow whatsoever. So when the uh, British Red Coast decided to make their little journey across the little water, try to get us under some type of control with our money, with their little muskets in Boston, they decided to open fire on what we know in term as the Boston Massacre. The first person who died in that massacre was an African-American named Crispus Attucks. He understood, just like you and I understand, that you can't take our money and do just about anything you want to do with it. Now, in the state of Maryland, in the, now somebody's going to say I spoke too long, but you're all clapping. If y'all would stop clapping for a second. <laughs> y'all can't blame me for this. Y'all can't blame me. and you're taxed at 9.6 cents for every dollar you make. That is the fourth hardest tax, you are the fourth hardest tax citizen in the nation. At 9.6 cents. And then you send another 17 cents of your dollar into Washington, D.C. Which means that every day you go to work to make a dollar, you only get to keep 76 cents of it. It's more than ridiculous, and it's unbelievably asinine how much of that money goes to social programs. Well, I hope somebody quotes me on this. I've already saw a sign that said it, but the best social program in America is a job. That's the best Conservatives are on our side, and what I've been doing by going around the state of Maryland is reminding Marylanders and reminding conservative Republicans that we still have the clear majority of people. They're just the solid majority right now. But not anymore. We're getting louder and louder by the day. some folks that need to be very nervous about this crowd today. <laughs> and they're not here. In fact, they're hoping it would never happen. But there's a change coming in 2010. There's a change coming in 2010. And I'm not going to speak to who's going to change, but there's going to be some changes in 2010, specifically in the state of Maryland. Now, all of us are conservative or we wouldn't be here. But all of us have at least one or two liberal friends. I know, I know you're going to try to, no, not you, right? Yeah, you remember that one that came to the Super Bowl party? All of you have at least one liberal friend. And here's what I share with my liberal friends. Now, I'm very excited because my father used to be a liberal Democrat. And I'm excited because he used to be. <laughs> I've been working on my dad for 14 years. He now calls himself independent, but that's a step in the right direction. One thing I tell my liberal Democrat friends is, if you think you're having your showcase and your fun now, 
you enjoy it because it's coming to an end. Yeah. <laughs> and here's what here's what I help them understand. I want you to make sure your little friends understand this. When immigrants come into this country, they don't come to work for the government. They come for an opportunity. And as men and women come into our country for an opportunity, they want to start businesses. They want, to, they want to create wealth and create jobs. They know the government has never made anyone wealthy a day in their life. Yeah, right. And the more they flock in, and the more they become legal, and the more African Americans continue to bridge the gap into business and grow in business, they're going to get sick and tired of people taking their money too. <laughs> See, I believe the handwriting's on the wall. That we are less than a generation away from having such a conservative movement, it's going to make the movement of 1994 look like a child's play because the world, the country is going to go conservative. We are not a socialism. We are not a socialist government. We don't want our health care socialized. We don't want our military socialized. We don't want any part of our life socialized. We're a Jeffersonian democracy. And if things don't change soon enough, they're going to have to worry about more than some tea bags being thrown over 